This is just a little experiment that's designed to explain how Fleming's left hand motor rule works. You lads that are taking your uh, college courses will know that you need to know this. And Fleming's left hand motor rule really is, if you point your thumb upwards, it tells you the motion that the conductor is going to move. Your forefinger points from north to south and your middle finger is the direction of the flow of current. Okay, now I've got a magnet here. We know that's the North Pole, that's the South Pole. Okay, I've also got current that's going to flow through it that way. So, if Fleming's left-hand motor rule works as it should do, you can see the motion of this conductor when I turn it on or pass current through it is going to go upwards. If I just turn it on, it jumps out. So, it's proved a point. Now, that was just with one single strand of cable. It's the, the opposition to the magnetic field that's making this conductor jump. When I pass a current through here, it creates a magnetic field around it, and of course, it opposes the magnetic field in the magnet, and we get some movement. If I put more strands of wire through there, the magnetic field is going to be a lot bigger. So with a bit of luck, when I switch it on, we should get a a better reaction. So let's have a look. Here we go. And that just proves Fleming's left hand motor rule. If I put AC current through it, we get a different reaction altogether. So I now need to change these over. over. And we know that with AC, the frequency is 50 hertz, the current is moving backwards and forwards 50 times a second. So if I now put that in there and turn it on, that's what we get.